Okay, interesting. All right, we got this whole bad boy done. Upon my research, this was $100,000 or more retail. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain, speaking. And we're about to look in this right here. And I think I just hit the jackpot. I don't know. I bought it. Said it's, I guess it's a company unit, non-lean special. And there's machines in here, computer machines for solar panels is what I think they are. And I think they're very pricey. Waiting for the manager. And we're about to take a look. We were supposed to rent a big truck. And I didn't want to spend 250 or 300 bucks plus a dollar a mile. And then find out my pallet jack don't work. So we brought this bad boy. I think maybe this is the reason why I've had this for a year. Because I had to buy this to get this to do this. Because these, I was told, go with them. Okay. So this, and then this is brand new yeah. stuff inside here. So. I think they slide in is what yeah. they look like. Okay. Interesting. All right. That looks like it would fit in a Penske door. How heavy is it? What's it say on the paper? Does it say the weight? No, it doesn't. A section 204 storage by George 2000. No, it doesn't say the weight, but it doesn't really matter because it's what matters is that that goes under there. And I feel like it's gonna gonna be harder on this one. Oh, it fit. All right. I don't know what any of this is. I guess it's just the parts. It's a throw switch, a throw switch, and then two. That's weird. I feel like there should be like another one of those and another one of these. Eight foot. Oh, this one has one in it, right? Is that the difference? Well, it's gonna be fine. We can pallet it and then that'll work. That's weird. Flatbeds are higher than uh, when we got there. Oh, that's a different pallet than this one. That's weird. We don't want to be hitting no. Oh, we're All right, we should be good. There's something that, that I put in here. Okay. So this, this stays. All right. I guess that makes it simple. I have no idea what they do. I thought it was going to be two exact, like two sets, but they don't think they are. All good. Oh, well, this one looks so different, right? They do, but they're like different parts in them. Right. But it doesn't really matter. We can get it in here. We just, I think that'll fit in the Penske truck, the big one. They said it was the same size door, so if I'm six feet, it's eight feet. A little under eight feet. Look at the size of that on the floor. I'd rather do it on uh, the big truck because that way this can go flat against the wall and that can go flat against the wall, tie them off, and then put something like a mirror cartons against this and tie them to the wall. Because a flatbed, you're not going to maneuver it. You have to take two trips. I mean, the uh, stake bed. Or it could six. No, it's only going to have to go up like an inch, like that. Like that is pretty much what one of the same height of the Penske door. They're just under eight feet. All right. Hold on. Should we put this up in the truck today? No, because that's gonna what we're gonna use right here. All right. I guess that's it. Thank you guys. I guess I'll be back tomorrow then. That's going to be an interesting unit. When I first bought this, guys, I thought that that was going to be two different systems. That was my thought process behind that. And now looking at it, trying to assess the puzzle pieces, because that's all it really is, is that it is one bigger system. I did not get a chance to take photos and stuff here because the women were watching us. I didn't think they were going to come hang out. This so might have had a minute, but it is what it is. We will be back tomorrow to assess, pick it up, and then I can do better better follow up of it but i think that that is going to be a jackpot Ooh, ladies gentlemen boys girls pirates of all ages it is i your captain speaking and we are here i had to rent a steak bed truck you're about to see this in a minute the f450 with the lift gate and the steak bed we are here at this storage facility and i may or may not have just made a really wise purchase and investment i'm uncertain because a now i'm not only bought the unit for 2500 plus 10 percent fees plus 10 percent extra space storage fees on top of the storage treasure fees putting this at three thousand dollars and then on top of that i had to rent this steak bed so we're looking at another four hundred dollars for the day and then I also had to hire my uncle to come help me move these massive machines. Now, these are either $150,000 in retail or I made a big mistake. We're about to find out. We're going to load them up 
take them to my storage, unwrap them, get our photos, get our information, and see what we got. And this is what I was talking about, guys. You have never seen me. That still doesn't seem much bigger. That's it. Keep going down. Did you not angle it enough? No, this. Uh, that's best we could do. We're going to have to take the big one up and turn it to the side. They're longer. And then put the skinnier one next to it and then repeat that same process. It's going to be almost kind of tough, but we'll see. Yeah. That one wasn't too heavy. Ooh. Not our normal business. It's not gonna come out like that. One thing is nice, they slide real well. All right, we got two in so far. It's going easier than I thought it would. And the most important part is, did I buy a bad unit or did I buy a good one? I don't know. It shouldn't be rocket scientist. It's got to come back. We kind of want it over on that side more, don't we? I'm going to slide it, right? It'll be better to have it in position. Than the other one. This one's heavier. That's about the easiest. It's easier than trying to shove that. The, 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 these need, there we go. Alright, it's tight. Alright, let's try the other one. I'll just stay up here. I need this part. It's the f***ing wing nuts up here that caught that one. Oh, that sucked. So much for keeping those. Yeah, I'll just go straight down there somewhere. Yes. I would go, no, I'll go down, keep it. I would say somewhere in between the two of them. Tie it down. All right, we got this whole bad boy done. Right. Let's see if we can do it. Less than 30 minutes. You want a dolly? No. Now we just gotta make it back safely. Okay. You think that's safe like that? The gate's gonna close on them, ain't it? All right. I always tell you guys every storage is a gamble. I don't care what anybody says. Um, we can debate this all day long. It could be the nicest freaking unit and it will have the worst stuff and it could be the worst looking unit and it can have the bestest treasure. It's all a gamble. There is no for sure thing in the storage business. This was a complete gamble. I'm driving this truck right here. I'm a little nervous because when we picked this up, well, the ad itself said you must bring a forklift. Well, you don't have a forklift, but I knew I had a pallet jack. This is not my normal stuff. I've got eight foot tall things on the back here. We're driving back to the storage um yeah a little nervous but so far so good uncle michael's behind me we're almost back to the storage and then the excitement begins i need to figure out what i got but when i left the manager told me that she had three different companies come out and appraise this and they all never gave her a value which was weird why you come out and appraise stuff and they refuse to tell her a value but they all said the same thing why would you want to sell it someone's going to get too good of a deal so that makes no sense but we're about to go find out i have a feeling I'm upon my research, this was $100,000 or more retail. I won't know though until for a little bit longer. So stay tuned, guys. All right, we got these safely unloaded here in front of my storage. And now we got to go return the truck. All right, pirates, we are finally back here at my storage. I had just pulled these out and then the rain clouds started coming. They're actually moving off there, so I don't know how this is going to be actually today. It's going back and forth. The weather wants to be good or wants to be bad. That's just like life. I came here to get my photos of all of these machines I bought. Tried to get some type of information on them, etc., etc. It's all basically one unit. It is a four part unit. I have not quite decided what it does. It's supposed to be a solar panel switchboard system. First thing we got is this extreme extremely large panel look at that all brand spanking nubian 
I guess this is a kill switch, right? A throw off switch when you're done, something's bad, whatever you turn off, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Brand new square D. I think that is gotta be retail. That's over a thousand dollar item. I don't know the exact value on it. Heavy duty safety switch. Second is this thing right here, which is another th this is not even assembled none of it It's just freaking a nut. So you have this piece here with all the breakers all brand new, etc, etc That's some money right there. I don't know exactly the mic on the, the money on it But what do we got here a type 1 closure? square D All right cabinet and this is all brand new stuff Next is this once again unassembled piece Room for more breakers, all of it brand new, smaller version, and this all hooks up to make one large system, as I was stating. Here's one more big panel, whoo, massive. All of this being one machine, got a main principal kill switch there, and in here is the door. Now for this part, is these big machines, look inside of here. So what I found out is this company right here, Storage by George, recently sold. They bought this in 2018 to four parts, and they have a big wine storage there. They have lots and lots of money in wine, right? So what I'm thinking is they were going to plaster the massive storage facility in solar panels, and this was going to be the system to run it and then help charge it or whatever. But they ended up selling the extra space for $38 freaking million. Holy crap. That's why storage uh, businesses are one of the biggest businesses in America because look at that, $38 million for the storage facility. They said, screw it. You guys can keep this and sell it. Extra space don't care about this. They're in the business of making money. They just want it gone and out of their space. So they sold it and I won this. And this is all, like I said, part of the same system. Let's take a little, take a little look in here. All right, there's a book. Let's see what the book says. What is this? QED, oh, where's that M, the piece that was on that? I want to find that paper. QED switchboards, power style, class 2700. Okay full system right here and all of these pieces i'm guessing maybe some of those panels go in the front and so forth and that's why they're like there's a hole here so they connect them i don't know how this works i'm not quite sure i just know that i own it let's see if we can find any information here some of these have some numbers here i'm gonna need all of y'all's help too on this because i am not this is not my field what do we got here nope blank nothing okay we come over here, we get another one of these. This one looks a little more complex. Can we go inside of here? Wow, this must be something here. What's on this side? Oh, okay, we got some information here. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Let me see, I don't have a electricity here. Or light to help show up, but this is some little panels here. I don't want to touch that. Okay, and it says closure 400 amps, and I think the four of them make a 1600 machine. See how there's four of four, so that's kind of cool. And then no more paperwork there, no more nada. Just whoo, I almost fell. Yeah, like I said, I pulled this all out in front of my storage and was kind of trying to do a cool little walkthrough, but this is the best I can come up with because of the way my storage is designed here. Here we go, square D, one of four. So somewhere they all probably have these little things. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, look, here's a meter. See that? Inbound manifest, class A. All right, so, so far that's the best I can come up with with what I got. I don't really freaking know. Was there one more piece here? Oh yeah. This one says three of four enclosure. And so far, that's the best I know. That's, that is everything that came with the storage unit. It was very small. I gambled hard. I paid 2,500 without um, the winning bid and then 250, 10% buyer's premium, 250, 10% extra space, which I always forget extra space has that 10%. So it cost me 3,000. I paid Uncle Michael uh, a good day's pay and I rented a Penske truck. Shout out to, uh, oh no, Enterprise. Enterprise flatbed steak bed. And we got it here. That cost me a total of another five. I'm $3,500 invested into this stuff right here. I'm gonna take it home, my photos anyway, and I'm gonna put this on eBay 
eBay for $50,000. I don't know why, I'm just going to. That's what I'm gonna do because these things are selling for that and more brand new. I'm gonna see what happens. You can't catch a fish if you don't throw some bait in the water, right? Why sell yourself short? That's the biggest mistake in resale I think anybody makes. You're only gonna get what you ask. If you don't ask more and you don't get it, whose fault is that, right? Oh, I could have got five grand. Why'd I sell for two? You know why? Because you asked two. Very simple. Anyway, I'm gonna put this up for 50 grand. See what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know some information if you do. Um, appreciate all of y'all. You don't even know. That's supposed to be a half a heart there because I can't use both hands here. Have a good day. Blessings. Ha!